chapter. Back in 1 Timothy 3 and at verse 2. Uh -huh. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife. Yes. Vigilant. Vigilant. Sober. Sober. Of good behavior. He got to behave. Mm -hmm. That's why all ministers that work in the truth of God must send reports in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got to have reports. So if we send them somewhere and we send these brothers all over the place. They got to make a written report of what was done, what was preached, how many was baptized, how many received the Holy Ghost. Yes. Most time, most time we don't let the ministers deal with the money. We let the financial secretary deal with that. Mm -hmm. Financial secretary take care of the money. That way the ministers can concentrate on the word. Right. He ain't distracted by greenbacks. <laughs> Amen. 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 If he uses his own money for something, then uh, and he let us know, the church will reimburse him. Right. If he got to go out there and go to the hotel, if he got to eat for gas or whatnot, I tell him, look, get your receipts together. Just turn over to the financial secretary, then the church will reimburse you. Right. Sometimes the ministers say, no, Pastor Dennis, I'm glad I can do it for the work of the Lord. I tell him, okay, well, that's up to you. Otherwise than that, we'll, 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 we'll reimburse you. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. Of good behavior. You got to behave. Mm -hmm. You know what you mean, behave? You, when, when, when you're out of the presence of your overseer, you don't mm -hmm. use the pulpit to try to talk behind his back. That's right. You don't be one way in his presence, then another way behind his back. Amen. And when you like that, you say heathen and two-faced it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Eh? Amen. All right. Of good behavior. You got to behave good. Give in to hospitality. You, you, you can't beat your wife and be a preacher. Mm -mm. Yeah, if you're beating your wife, you got to get out the pulpit and sit down. Oh, yeah. You got to sit down. That's right. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. What did he say? Of good behavior. You got to behave good. Amen. Mm -hmm. Give in to hospitality. Be hospitable. Know how to deal with people. Know how to treat people. That's right. Uh, At to teach. What? At to teach. Now, you got to be able to break down the scriptures. And sometime, I get, sometime to see how good can a brother teach or what he knows, I may give him a subject and tell him, all right, dive into it. That's right. Let me see what you know. That's right. Jesus Christ is God. Break it down. Get your scriptures and connect from Old Testament to New. See what it means, but thou Bethlehem Ephrata, though thou may be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come unto me. That is to be ruler of Israel. See what it means, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou on my right hand, yet is one. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. See what it means, the scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a law given from between his feet until Shiloh coming unto him shall the gathering of the people be, binding his fold. Tell me what is the fold, and what is the choice vine? What did it mean he washed his garment in wine? When did the wine come into play? Mm. And his clothes in the blood of grapes. Right. I want to know what is the blood of grapes. That's right. Go and After take teach. Huh? After teach. After teach. Tell me what it would mean in the book of Revelation when I saw a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and upon her head was a crown of 12 stars. Huh? Who is the woman? What is the woman? What comes from the woman? What does the moon represent? What does the sun represent? What's the name of the 12 stars that represent the 12 tribes of Israel or the 12 sons of Jacob? Mm -hmm. After teach. After teach. After teach. What you don't know, don't touch. That's right. That's right. There ain't no harm saying, Pastor, I don't know. <laughs> I'd rather you say I don't know than get up and make a fool out yourself. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. What is that? At to teach. After teach. Not given to wine. What? Not given to wine. Any of you preachers that got lick on your breath, go somewhere and sit down. Sit down. That's right. The Bible speak plain. Not given to wine. No, dinner wine. Not given to wine. Lunch. Not given to wine. Breakfast. Not given to wine. Got a bottle of wine in his house. Not given to wine. Got a special bottle of Charnay him and his wife drank at night. Not given to wine. You heathen. I say you a heathen. <laughs> That's right. You a heathen and an infidel. Amen. You can't be a bishop and an elder and a drinking wine. wine. The Bible speaks plain Not here. Not given to wine. Not. Not given to wine. Not. Not. Not given to wine. Amen. See how quiet it is? <laughs> Very quiet. Very quiet. What did the Holy Ghost say? Not given to wine. Not given to wine. Amen. All right. No striker. Oh, it's two ways to strike. Mm -hmm. When the word of God is preached, I don't care how hot you are and get mad, you can't get up and throw off on the preacher afterward. That's right. And you can't get upset you want to fight him. That's right. Man, the word of God have dropped so hard in many places of the world. Men have got so mad they want to fight me. Amen. One man got up and grabbed me on my shoulder. I just looked at him. <laughs> I mean, the word burnt his britches so 
tight. He jumped up and grabbed my shoulder. And, I mean, he dug his hands in there. I just stood there and looked at him. <laughs> you want to you wanna put your hands on my shoulder? Go ahead. Just, just let him stay there. That's right. Mm -hmm. perhaps, perhaps the Lord will take care of the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> what is that? No striker. I remember years ago when we bought a temple <coughs> in Newport News. And we was drawing back and forth there working to get the new, the new Newport News temple together. It was in the summer. So one day coming back to my hotel, I stopped at Shell gas station. And a man drove up. I'm used to people recognizing who I am everywhere. But a man drove up and uh, he let his window down. He said, you Pastor Jennings? I said, yes, sir. He said, mm -hmm, OK. So he got out of his car, and he kept going up. <laughs> Big old bald head. Man, his head was so large, like a giant llama bean was on his head. <laughs> he said, you took my wife. <clears throat> I said, I did what? <laughs> he said, you took my wife. I said, man, I don't know you or your wife. He said, my wife left me because you preach against some divorce. Mm. Come on, come on. I said, your, your argument is not with me, sir. Your argument is with the Bible. He said, no, it's not. My argument with you. He went back in that car and pulled out a hunter's knife. And you know a hunter's knife is not a pocket knife. I had on leather sole shoes. I remember one brother said, why didn't you run? I said, man, how far are you going to get with leather, show, leather uh, sole shoes? And brother, he swung that knife. That thing just whistled. And right then, I forgot about Pastor Jennings. <laughs> Amen. When, when, when the first breeze of that knife went by, right then, I was Nick from Huntington Park. <laughs> Amen. And uh, when he swung, I dipped back, and that knife, whoo, and right there, I, I was in Huntington Park mode. I, I, I was like, I can't believe this. <laughs> Amen. He swung again, I dumped a side step, and then he swung, and he lost his momentum. And then I just got on the other side. <laughs> I said, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> he swung again. Oh, he was, he was going to slice and dice me. Mm. Pastor Jennings, somebody said, why didn't you die for the gospel? I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready. Uh, See? That's one reason why a lot of folk respect me so. I don't try to project something that I'm not. That's right. I'm a realist, brother. That's right. I'm very real. Amen. So, then one time he swung on me with all his might, and I went under him and guided him to the, we were still at the uh, gas station, and guided him to the pump, shoulder first. And it dislocated his whole shoulder. Boom. You can see it drop. Then the blade dropped. And I stepped back. You know, I'm looking in the gas station trying to tell the folk, call the police. <laughs> and besides them calling the police, they in the gas station just get. <laughs> hey, I ain't want that. Man, that fella must have been at least. Oh, he had to be over 250 pounds easy. He was, I mean, tall, tall. And uh, so by the time all that was over, then the police come up. <laughs> so I went back and I leaned up against my car, just breathing. <laughs> <laughs> so the ambulance came up and police came up. Sergeant came up to me and said, uh, aren't you Pastor Jennings? 
I'm saying to myself, it's the wrong time to recognize who I am. <laughs> I believe it was the paramedics that they went to the guy, they, they looked at him and looked at me, they looked at him and looked at me. They said, you did this? I said, yeah. <laughs> so I told the police what happened and they took a statement. And went on to my hotel and the sergeant reached out to me, said, Pastor Jennings, we believe, you know, what you said. You want to press charges? I said, no. He said, you don't want to press no charges? I said, listen, the man beef or actuality was not with me. The man beef was with what I preached. That man wanted to kill me to get that second wife. The moment you speak against divorce and that second wife and that second relationship, folks want to put you in the grave. Yeah. I got preachers, preachers fighting me all over the world yeah. because that divorce is what they're in and they rather go to hell than give up that second wife. That's right. Glory yeah. to God, but I'm going to stand on God's word. I don't care who it hurt. Amen. What did he say? Not greedy or filthy lucre. Not greedy. Hold it. One of the qualifications is what? Not greedy or filthy lucre. Wait a minute. You mm. can't love money. Not greedy or filthy lucre. I think that happened to me probably over, man, maybe close to 19 years ago, not longer. Mm. You can't love money. Not greedy or filthy lucre. If nobody gives you a speaker's offering, don't ask for none. That's right. Years ago, probably over 25 or well, 27 years ago, I let a minister speak from Jamaica, New York. And we didn't raise him no money. I didn't plan to. <laughs> he went back to New York and called me that Monday and said, he said, I enjoyed myself. He said, but you forgot something. <laughs> I said, what's that? He said, you forgot to give me an offering. I said, I didn't plan on to. Amen. I said, you come to preach, not to get money. That's I right. told him, you want money, go to work. <laughs> That's right. It shouldn't bother you if a preacher don't give you an offering. Amen. It shouldn't bother you. You know you nobody going to want to give you money if you preach this type of stuff. No. Who's going to want to give you money breaking up homes? Right. Running the second wife out, running the third and third husband out, and making the wife put clothes on and make mm. them. Hey, anybody want to give you money taking a stand like this? No. Knock the cigarettes out of his pocket and get the guns out your car? Mm. Mm -hmm. Nobody want to give you money. No. If they want to pay you, they, they want to pay you no mind. That's right. What it say? Not greedy or filthy lucre. You can't love money, preacher. Mm. All right. But patient. Now, when you're patient, you're not in a hurry to get in the pulpit. That's right. <laughs> when you're patient, you're not in a hurry to get ordained. No, no. Some of these men get ordained, and all they did was stood up in the church and gave a loud mouth testimony. <laughs> I know what God done for me. Right then, a blind bishop would get together with him at the service and say, you know what? You got a calling on you. Yep. You know how many men end up in the pulpit because of that lie? That's right. All the man did was get up and testify, quoted a few scriptures. Preacher tell him, are you, are you a minister? Well, I know, sir. You got the calling. Mm -hmm. You got the calling. Amen. He ain't got nothing. I don't know where you're going to say a man got a calling and all he did was testify and quoted a few scriptures. That's right. <laughs> Amen. You see how many men in the pulpit like this? All right. But patient. Be patient. patient. Don't get a hairy to get ordained. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Not a brawler. Wait a minute. Not what? Not a brawler. Ah, the word of God hits you. Don't get up and try to beat up somebody. That's right. You can't be quick tempered. That's right. You can't be a quick tempered person. Even after that thing happened to me about 19 years ago, I had to go before God and repent. So I said, what? You are defending yourself. But the Bible says, don't uh, give place to wrath. He said, vengeance is mine. Oh, yeah, the Bible said that. That's right. and, I, and, and I transgressed the Bible, and I had to go before God and repent. And, I, and, I, and I'm not above repentance. That's right. Huh? That's right. I'm not above repentance. Amen. Apostle Paul said, I have to bring myself under subjection right. unless I be a castaway. That's right. All right. Not a brawler. Not a brawler. Not covetous. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not covetous. If the Bible says not covetous, then you shouldn't be desiring another man's wife. That's right. Don't desire somebody else's car. Amen. Don't desire nobody else's anything. Anything. 
It says not covetous. Not covetous. All right. One that ruleth well his own house. Uh-oh. Amen. One that rule well his own house. Ha Why? Having his children in subjection with all gravity. All right, let's, let's look at your home, preacher. Look what go on in the preacher's house. Mm. Cigarette sucking, mm. partying, <laughs> dancing, mm. pants on the girls, mm. pants on his wife. Mm. And the Bible said a woman shall not wear that which pertain to a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination before God. Right. You're supposed to have your house under subjection. What's your wife doing with jeans and khakis and overalls and deep cut necks and back all out? Splits all in her clothes and fingernail polish and toenail polish. Earring, finger ring, bracelet, necklace. Why would the preacher wife have a jewelry box and the Bible speak against jewelry? That's right. That's right. Genesis call it strange gods. Strange gods. Eh? That's right. What did it say? One that ruleth well his own house. Rule your own house. Rule. Rule. If you can't rule your house, you ain't fit to correct the church. That's right. Did you hear the Bible talking? One that ruleth well his own house. Amen. No wigs on your wife. No dye in your wife's hair. No eyebrow arching. No fake eyelashes. Yeah. Eh? Well, on the well. preacher's wife and on your children. Mm -hmm. You got to rule your house well. 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 No mini skirts, no pants, and hot pants on your preach daughters. It, it. Rule your house well. 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 Hey Amen. If your father's still living and your mother's still living, and yet your father divorced his wife, which is your mother, and got another woman, and they, they both can't spend the night under your house. That's right. Uh, no, 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 because you can't harbor adulterers. That's right. No, no Christmas dinners, no Halloween party, no Easter celebration, all under the bishop's roof. That's right. Ah! One that rules well. No Atlantic City, no Las Vegas, Nevada, no gambling, no lottery. Go ahead. All under the bishop's roof. That's right. How much how you got to rule that house? One that rules well. Halfway. Well. Halfway. Rules well. Your wife, listen, if your wife do something wrong, Open in church, then you chastise our open in church. The Bible said, rebuke openly that others may fear. If you can't chastise your wife openly, wish you do something openly, don't you open your mouth when somebody else do something. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Glory to God. Do you one, hear this? One that rules well his own house. You got to rule well what? His own house. Say what? One that rules well his own house. Your own house. Own house. All right. Having his children in subjection with all <coughs> gravity. You got to have your children under subjection. Yeah. No rap music in the preacher's house. <coughs> huh? Yeah. No rap music in the preacher's house. No uh, Suge Knight and no Snoop Dogg Snoop. and none of that trash. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Your sons ain't walking with their pants hanging down Amen. in your house showing his drawers. That's right. Your daughter ain't in and out the house with a skirt that big and a blouse that big. Yeah. Looking like a neighborhood hooker. That's right. All in the preacher's house. That's right. Ah! Having his children in subjection with all gravity. Even the haircuts that's on your sons are modest. modest. Mm -hmm. No duck tails, no gumby. No taking a little sponge and running across your head so your head can look like buckwheat, like the world. Go ahead. Preach it, brother. Huh? One that rules well his own house. Yeah, here you a man. Why you got bangs? Why a man got a, a man bun? A man bun. What's the matter with you? Amen. God made male and female. No long hair on a man. And you all under the preacher's uh, preacher with long hair, mm. given the 14th chapter, or rather the 11th chapter. chapter 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. First Corinthians chapter 11. Verse 14. Follow me. Doeth not even nature itself Doeth teach not you? nature itself teach you? That if a man have long hair. How do God feel about it? It is a shame unto him. Why, you ain't got no shame, brother. Shame. Cut that stuff. That's right. Long Cut it, I said. Amen. You hear the Holy Ghost talking? If a man have long hair, what is it? It is a shame unto him. If the Bible says it's shame, why you don't have it? Right. Well, Pastor Jesus, I got my hair in dreadlocks like Samson. You ain't Samson. 
Eh? You ain't Samson. Get your hair cut. We ain't under no Old Testament Nazarite vow. No, no. We under the New Testament law. That's right. Huh? That's right. You got to cut that hair, brother. Cut it. Cut it. Mm-hmm. Amen. All under the bishop's roof, brothers with ponytails. All under the bishop's roof, brothers with bangs. That's right. Under the bishop roof, a man bun. Amen. Under the bishop roof, he got a, a stash full of different color toupees. Under the bishop roof, his Amen. wife got a cedar a closet of burgundy wigs, dark brown wigs, yeah. black wigs, silver and black, silver and blue and black. That's right. Got, got two hats on, two hats. a wig and a hat on that. That's right. What's wrong with the way God made you? Preach it. Get that trash off your head. Go ahead. Man. Go ahead. All under the bishop's house. If you listen, listen at this. One, back in 1 Timothy 3 and verse 4. One that ruleth well his own house. This is doctrine here. This is doctrine. This is a true saying. This ain't no request. This is doctrine. That's right. This is something that God ordered, and it got to be done. One that rule well. His own house. Mm -hmm. Amen. No boys in and out of your house for your daughters. Yeah. Yes. Your, your daughter's boyfriend don't spend the night there. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And your son's girlfriend ain't spending the night there. That's right. Boys in and out of your house like it's a station stop. Mm. Mm -mm, no, sir. Not under the bishop's house. That's right. No preacher, no preacher, no preacher. Pastor Jennings, if I run my house like that, my wife's going to leave me. Yeah. What do a profit a man to gain the whole world and lose your soul? That's right. Pastor Jennings, I understand now, but you, 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 know, you don't know my wife now, you know. I got I to gotta keep that bed warm. If you're that desperate for heat, wait till you go to hell. My Lord. Anytime thighs, breasts, and legs mm. dictate the pulpit, use a false prophet. It's a false prophet. The only thing supposed to dictate the pulpit is God's word. That's it. If your wife don't like it, too bad. That's right. Preach the word. That's if right. your wife pack up and leave, preach the word. Preach the word. If your wife threaten you with a gun, yeah. preach the word. Amen. The Bible says be instant in season and out of season. Yeah. No Christmas presents for your wife. No fox, no furs. Why? Because the Bible says to be modest. Modest apparel. Modest apparel. No, modest ain't no mink coat. No. Modest ain't no silver fox. I remember my mother had a silver fox, and I brought that scripture in the First Timothy two nine. Mm -hmm. Let the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest apparel. Modest. She said, uh, "Look, I'm." I, I, she said, this is my silver fox. I said, you either get rid of that dog or sit down. <laughs> if the Bible says modest, modest, who are you? That's right. The Bible said, who is my mother, sister, and brother? May he to do the will of my father, which is in heaven. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God, man, when the word got done with her, she had a whole grill of gold in her mouth. Now, the Bible speak against the wearing of gold. I told her, you may as well get to the dentist, ma. She said, what? The Bible speak against the wearing of gold. I said, it's in your mouth for pride. Mm -hmm. God said, six things do I hate. Seven is an abomination before me, a proud look. It ain't nothing wrong with your teeth. Why you got all that gold in your mouth? It's a proud look. And God said, six things do I hate. Seven is an abomination before me, a proud look. You look proud if you're not proud. That's right. God don't even want you to look proud. look proud. All that gold in your mouth, it don't make your smile more better. That's right. My mother and my father went and got the gold out their mouth, got, took them wedding bands off, and took his military ring off. I didn't care if it was family. When it comes to the Bible, look, I don't care who you are. Do, are we clear with this? That's right. If there's anyone that I stuttered that anyone didn't get it. It doesn't matter to me who you are, where you come from. My God, if an angel come from heaven this afternoon, he better bring what the word of God said. That's right. Pastor Paul said, as I said before, so sad now again, Amen. if any man preach any other gospel, that differ from what we preach, let the angels be accursed. That's right. What he said? One that ruleth well his own house. You got to rule well your own house. If your daughter get pregnant, sit her down. 
Don't let her function in the church and she ain't married. That's right. That's Walking right. around there with all that gut out up on the choir saying, sit down. <laughs> Amen. I don't care if you's a usher, sit usher the chair. Sit down. <laughs> sit right down. That's right. You can't have no respect to person. No. If your son knock up a girl and get her pregnant, your son ain't married. Sit him down. Sit him down. Huh? That's right. Sit him down and make him come before the church. Amen. Make him come before the church and repent and sit him down. Sit him down. Are you listening? Amen. If these folks don't get no shame about their wrong, then they'll keep doing it with no conscience Amen. and no repentance. Oh, yeah. You got to get a shame about your wrong. That's right. That's right. How in the world you expect for someone to be ashamed about wrong if you keep pacifying it? Oh, you make a little mistake, but... Don't worry about it. Next time, ne next time, use a condom. That's what they'll say. That's what they'll tell Just them. tell them to abstain. That's right. Abstain. Yeah. I want this to be good for my young people. Old school teaching is plain. No sex till you get married. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to help you, help you, help you. <laughs> yeah. That's old school teaching. I've heard, I've heard of churches giving out condoms to the congregation. That's right. I've heard of churches actually advertising over the air condoms the fourth Sunday. Everybody in line, including the members. Bishop giving them blessed condoms. <laughs> Huh? Like he's a balloon man. That's the devil out That's of hell. The devil. Amen. This is what church has become. Church has sunk to an all time low. Oh. All right. One that rules well his own house. You got to rule your house well, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? When you have weddings in the church, you ain't marching down. Oh, no worldly music, no worldly music being played, no half naked gowns on the bride, none of that stuff. None of that. No ring bearer, because we ain't wearing them. That's right. Mm -mm, no, no garters going up your legs, showing your thighs in church. What's the matter with you? No. This is God's house. Yeah. Amen. That's right. No one taking pictures all up under your clothes? Yeah. No, sir. Uh-uh. We don't change the word of God for you. No. The day I got married, I wore the same suit I preached in. You didn't get a tux for what? If my suit was good enough to preach in, it was good enough to get married in. Got married that Saturday afternoon and preached that Saturday night. It was so many people, I told my wife, I can't let these devils go home. I said, I just can't let them go home. There's too many of them. <laughs> and the church was packed. People were standing wall to wall. That's right. My mother-in-law said, Gino, you going to preach? I said, yeah. She said, what about your honeymoon? I said, that's after service. That's a lifetime. <laughs> That's a lifetime. Amen. I read that God, we labored in word and doctrine that night. That night. Are you listening? Right. What it says? One that rules well his own house, mm -hmm. having his children in subjection with all gravity. Have your children under subjection. Don't let your daughter talk back to you, mother. Amen. Don't let your daughter give you word for word. Don't, if you set a curfew for your daughter, then make her stick to it. The role is playing, young people. If you don't want to listen to your parents, get out and get your own roof. Yeah. <laughs> Blame. Mm -hmm. You don't need no college degree to understand that. No. I'm a man. Then work and take care of yourself and buy your own house. Otherwise than that, go to Sears and be quiet. All right. All right. For if a man know not how to rule his own house. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. I want all you fellows that are watching around the world to listen at this. Right. Would bees, jack legs, fakers, frauds, right. artificial devils. Mm. If a, if a man, man know not how. If you can't even take care of your own house. To rule his own house. What? How shall he take care of the church of God? That's plain. That's what got me barking so loud. Yeah. 